Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up the Foscam fi 98 p So this is the IP camera that has a QR code on the bottom for easy scan using the Foscam viewer app for quick access. It also has a 3S opt optical zoom and a 1.3 megapixel sensor. First thing is, plug in a power to the unit and also plug in a network cable. One end goes into the router, the other end goes into the Foscam. And you can use the IP camera tool software that came on a CD in a box or you can always download it from the, from the Foscam.us website for computers that don't have like a CD drive, for example. And to download it, just head to the support section. And when you're at the support section, just head down to the CD installation software. And just download the one for your operating system. The setup process is identical for Windows or Mac. So for the Mac, just send them on the Mac, just download it here. And once you download it, extract the zip file and run it in its IP camera tool. First time you run it, on a Mac at least, it'll say, do you want to grant it access? I'll say yes, allow. It'll scan my network for all the IP cameras out there. The one I'm after is this one on top. So I'm just going to double click on here. And if you did not install any IP cameras on your web browser in the past, on top you'll see that it's plugin not found. Keep in mind that these are HD webcams, so you do need a plugin to view it. So I'm just going to click on this link right above here, and download the plugin, I'm going to go to my download section and I see that the plugin package is right here. So I'm just going to right click on it and run it as administrator or open it. And yes, I'm going to grant it access. And I'm just going to hit continue and install this plugin. All right. Installation finished. I'm going to close this window. So now I need to exit Safari completely or exit my browser. And I'm going to relaunch it. And when I relaunched it, the plugin is asking, saying, hey, do I want to give it access? So yes, I'm going to trust this plugin. Now, initial login, the default user ID is admin. The default password is blank. Just click login. And it says, for security reasons, please change your password and your username. So the username and password changed successfully. Now I need to log in again. There, everything's logged in. The setup was very easy. So here's the IP camera. Before I zoomed in, I can move it however I want it. So it is connected to a network, but it's plugged in right now. Next thing I want to do is add in the Wi-Fi information, since this is a wireless camera. I can do that by going to the settings page, then go to network, then wireless settings, then scan. If your SSID is hidden, you can always just manually enter it on the right hand side. So I found my network, I'm just going to click on it, then over here enter my password, now hit save. And that's it, simple as that. Now I'm going to unplug the FOSS cam from where it is right now and bring it to this room. So I move the camera to upstairs and I'm going to run the IP camera to again. I closed Safari earlier. So I'm just going to double click on this. And now I'm putting the new user ID and password I created earlier. To show you, the network cable is not plugged in anymore. Right now it's just a power cable and it's connected using the Wi-Fi. And if I wanted to set it up on my smartphone using a QR code, essentially I just run, let me see, I get a settings page here. So on my smartphone, just launched a Foscam viewer app. It's a free app. It's available on the Android store or any of the iOS store. And on the, from, from the left on the bottom, the second icon from the left is IPC. Click on that. Then next row above it, click the magnifying glass with the QR code. That way, now the camera's turned on and I can scan the QR code on the bottom here. All right, scans. So I need to enter a device name, username, and password. So then once I hit OK, it'll say Access Success. Click the Back button, and it appears on the bottom of this list. So when I click on it, it'll activate it. And once it says Connection Successful, now I'm able to view it on my smartphone. 
setup was very simple. I did not need to create any port forwarding rules or anything. Only if I want to use it using the file scheme viewer app. If I still want to use like the a network video recorder, like the Synology, or if I want to use it for anything else, like a viewing app from my work computer, I would still need to create port forwarding rules on my router. But if I just want to view on my smart device, tablet, smartphone, using the Foscan Viewer app makes things very easy. Okay, so in all intents and purposes, this whole set process is done. Everything after this point is purely optional. For example, you can go to your videos over here, go to settings, you can choose your resolution. So since you pay extra, we paid extra for this, for the 1.3 megahertz. so I typically like to have it set to 960p, especially if I'm trying to view a room. That way I see more of the top, more of the bottom. And also for the bit rate, I like to set mine to 1 megabit. If I set mine to 2, that's fine. My internet speed is 50 up, 50 down. So it, it can handle it. If your internet speed is very low, for example, like you're still using ISDN or something, you'll want to take this into account if you have more than one IP camera. And there's also on-screen display. Um, one of my viewers previously asked, can you turn on the time or turn off the camera name? Yes, you can do that here. Now there's IRLD zone schedules, alarm, you can set up your motion detections, recording how you want to record it to the cloud or record it to your local drive. There are a lot of options here. Uh, what, what I would say is take your time, go through them one by one and see which ones suit your needs. Okay, well, I hope you guys found this video useful. So this was how to set up the Foscam FI9826P IP camera. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching over hamster. Bye.